Hi everyone, it's Tina here from Star Property Group. Hope you're all okay. I uh, just thought I'd pop on here um, just to give you a bit of a quick top tip really uh, on this Thursday. Um, and what it is, if it's just to say, if ever you're, whatever deal you're sort of um, purchasing, whatever property you're purchasing, always make sure that you've got two, and well, a minimum of two exit strategies. So, um, hi Callum. Um, so, um, for instance, if you were buying like a, a, purchase, a property to flip, um, what happens if that property doesn't sell? Always make sure that you've got a backup option, for instance, that you know you could then rent it out. So always make sure that that potential flip would cash flow um, as well. Um, otherwise, you can become unstuck with a property that you can't sell. That can be very difficult. And again, if you're purchasing a property with a view to making it into a HMO, that's great, you know, if all the rooms are renting out, but if it's not working as you want, how easy is it to then put that property back to a buy to let and either rent it out as a buy to let or even possibly change it so that you could then sell the property. Um, but again, that's just giving you multiple exit strategies. Um, I have seen investors where they haven't done that and they have, you know, got into difficulties because of it. So uh, top tip for today is always make sure that you've got at least two exit strategies. I uh, hope you're all good and have a enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch up with you soon. Okay, bye.